thank the people of, from the American Society, that is USID, through Nuruyam Toto Project for the support that they have given us to ensure that we deliver support and uh, livelihood support to the households who are vulnerable. Their vulnerability, they have several um, and myriad challenges. Some of them are occasioned as a result of HIV AIDS, infection and also affection, uh, af uh, infected I mean. So today as we speak, just as we are here to congratulate them, we've received quite a number of support and uh, not to mention ma many, just to mention a few I mean, I want to say we've received sewing machines for 11 caregivers, we've received uh, 10 um, I, fr French uh, fries uh, making machines, uh, utensils I mean. We've also received pans for women who are engaging in fish business and we want to appreciate them so much for the support. As a project we are currently supporting 10,507 children who are affected and infected by HIV AIDS. These children are coming from a, a, a household's population of 14,721. 4,000, I mean 4,721 households. They are households that have taken in children who are orphaned by HIV AIDS and they also have presence of people who are on medication. Um, our approach for support is case management approach whereby we do assessment to the household, gauge the challenge that they have, and after gauging the challenge they have, we try to assess the skills and the ability within the household and see how we can mold the, 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 the skills that they have for the betterment of uh, the OVC that they take care of. Case management approach we did as a para assessment and out of the 4,721 households that we support, 383 households scored a score of 0 to 7. That one means they are living below a dollar a day. These households are really affected and they lack what to eat. They lack uh, basic commodities and basic uh, uh, necessities. So our approach is to ensure that we build their economic growth, economic power, so that they can be able also to fend for their own families. The Uriam Toto project is a five-year project, funded through USID, just as I said, and uh, we currently operate at 21 million Kenya shillings. We are targeting children uh, below age 18 and uh, we also have few cases of children who are above 18 those ones who are up to age 21 who are still school going students yeah, so we, that is the category that we serve and we also serve adolescents who are in school and out of school ensuring that we support them to reduce and minimize the risk of contracting HIV AIDS and also trying to ensure that we bring them back to school and also link them to other artisanal and uh, uh, other training facilities so that they can gain knowledge. That is in line with the with Blue Cross vision of having an empowered community with self-sustaining structures. This support that they have received will go a long way in building their capacities <coughs> to create their own sources of livelihood and also build their resilience as they move, move out of the shocks that they have uh, experienced over time. They will engage in economic activities and with that they will be generating their own income. In that their dependencies on support will also go down as they will move towards being independent and growing their income. Apart from this, when they have started growing their income, the program also wishes to uh, link them to saving groups where they, where they will be getting more of their capital as they grow their assets and also as they grow uh, their income base and also their income in the households. This will help the, the, the project also to realize its project, uh, its main uh, objective of having caregivers with empowered 
capacity to care for the overseas within the households and also to move the households up the graduation pathways out of the program as they become more independent and more economically empowered.